Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Please stay tuned towards the end where you, there will be a character battle for you to vote on who you think is the better character. Man, it's really good to be back in this game. It's always great when you take a break from a game and come back to it a little while later. Hey guys, my name is Sean and today I'm going to be giving you a guide for another parallel quest in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now before I... Ch well... I'll tell you what parallel quest it is in a minute when I get to the desk. But what I do recommend is go ahead into the what was it called? The industrial area where you can buy stuff and get some health items for this mission just in case. Now this parallel quest, if I can run any faster. Come on girl, let's go. This parallel quest is a special one, at least in my opinion. It is number 47, Super Super Ultimate Series of Battles. If you saw my video on DLC Pack 3, the one with the Resurrection of Frieza DLC in it, if you saw my video in that one I discussed that, I'm going to start trying to progress a little bit faster off camera through the content in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. At the moment, I, or previously, I was trying to do it in order of the Parallel Quest line, but I want to be ready for that DLC pack because I'm a little bit excited to play it, unlike DLC Pack 1 and 2. So, number, I'm trying to focus on the parallel quests which people need or I see people talking about a bit more or people seem to need a bit more help with and if you guys have any suggestions or any parallel quests particularly you want to see let me know and I want to record those earlier and get back to the ones which are less needed a little bit later. Number Parallel Quest 47 Super Super Ultimate Series of Battles has two hidden win conditions. You must clear it in 10 minutes and if you do so correctly with enough points you will then be, may be given the opportunity to fight against Vegito and Gotenks. Now what makes this quest hard, at least in my opinion, is the number of enemies you have to fight. Including perhaps the secret enemies that with the hidden wing conditions that you may have to fight. You may have to fight up to 19 different enemies in a row in this battle. That's why I recommend bringing some health items. Just because depending on your character build, you may not have the health to make it through all the way to the end and that can make it a little bit difficult for you. There are some other things which are a challenge in this one, but I will describe that along the way. I particularly don't find this mission too hard personally, but I can't discredit other people for saying that they found it difficult. Now fortunately this mission is just a series of battles where enemies, wave of enemies will come up against you, so you don't need to protect anyone, there's no escort mission in, style implemented, so Go with whatever is your best setup and you'll be a okay. For myself at the start here, I'm going to be fighting against Yamcha, Piccolo and Krillin, uh, not Krillin, sorry Krillin's not here yet, and Tien. What I need to do here is I just need to get a bit of key and um, prepare myself to try and reduce their numbers a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them try and surround me and I'm going to use my evasive skill Angry Shout. What Angry Shout allows you to do, I'm just going to stand still actually and let them beat me up a bit. Come on, someone come and fight me. Do I have to come to you? Anyone? TN, you want some of this? Right. Angry Shout builds up key when you use it. So what I want is I want to get 300 key. And now that I've got 300 key, I'm going to use my blue hurricane move in order to reduce their numbers a bit. So let's see, who can I kill? I'm going to kill off Piccolo and TN, it seems. Leaving Yamcha of all people alive. How did that happen? Now when one of these characters are alive, another two will come in and join him very, very shortly. Now, just wait for these enemies to arrive and um, we'll wait till the next bit here. So once again, I want to reduce these numbers. I'm going to use Blue Hurricane and I want to try and kill Yamcha and Krillin, not necessarily Android 18. She's got another job which I want her to do here. So let's take out Krillin. Oh, nice dodge Krillin. But you've got a long way to catch up to, buddy. So I'm going to try and take out Krillin now, won't take too long, excellent, now I'm going to leave Android 18 alive because she's a bit of a better punching bag. Now what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try and just do some super attacks on Android 18 to get evaluation criteria super user, so I'm going to try and do 10 of these, so let's get in there, hit confirm, there's one super, oh I'm doing quite a bit of damage, I might not be able to do it on her, okay let me hold off on super user just yet, let me do grappler. To get the grapple evaluation criteria, you need to do three grapples or three throws in a match. So there's one throw. She won't stay down for very long. Oh, there we go. Two throws. 
And free throws. Now I'm going to go back to doing super user until she gets low on health. So let's wait for a hit confirm and there we go. There's two attacks. I don't know whether it will be safe for me to do one more so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to kill her off at this point here. And there she goes. So the first part of this mission, the first five enemies aren't too difficult. Before leaving this area, do put on your scouter and have a look around for any items. If you can get five items in a mission, including any equipment drops from the enemies, you will get the treasure hunter evaluation criteria and it gets you more points in order to get that Z rank. A lot of them are hidden in the rocks here. All you gotta do is just go up to them. And uh, is there one in this rock? Yeah, there seems to be one in this rock here. Pick one up there. And let's pick one more up. So I'll see you guys in the next area after picking up these items. Okay, in this next area, you'll be fighting against mother, uh, father and daughter, Videl, father and daughter, yeah, Videl and her Q. Try and kill one of them ASAP before Margin Boo arrives. Now, you want to keep Margin Boo alive. He has a special job for you in this mission here. Try and kill Videl and her Q ASAP. They're really not hard. Oh, there's Margin Boo. I don't want to hurt him. Her Q, get over here, please. No, her Q's just going to run around like a coward, as he is known to do. Let me see if I can get closer. Come on, her Q, and there he goes. Now, I'm, I'm going to keep Margin Buu alive because I oh, there's a special job I like to use Margin Buu for. And that is to rank, um, to do a nice long combo on. I'm going to try and land a 50 hit combo on Buu, assuming that he's not too evasive. Okay, let's get in there. One, two. Oh, good vanish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Teleport. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Teleport. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Meteor Crash. And let's wrap this all the way up to 50. And there we go. Margin Buu has a lot of health, so he makes him the perfect punching bag in order to get a 50 hit combo on. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back to doing Super User. I did, I think, maybe two Super Attacks on 18, and including the Meteor Crash that I just did. That's three. So let's beat up Buu and carry on doing Super Attacks. That's four Super Attacks. Up he gets, boo. Five super attacks. I'm not going to be able to hit ten with him. I have to uh, use another enemy to get some more. I could hit one more though. Six. Oh, I killed him. Oh, well. That's okay. No problem. Next, you have to fight against father and son, Vegeta and Trunks. Don't take too long because any moment from now... Well, let me show you. I'm going to kill off Trunks, kid. ASAP. There he goes. And Trunks Future will come, which is the more adult and more dangerous form of Trunks, for sure. So I'm going to try and kill one of them off. Uh, let's stay away from that super attack. Can I kill off Vegeta? No, Vegeta's still alive. Stubborn as always. Where is he? There he is. One more super attack. And I think that should finish Vegeta off. Now I'm going to keep Trunks alive because I want to finish off Super User at this point right now. Even though he's spamming his stupid ultimate attack over and over again. Again? And really again. Just spamming it, yeah? Using that Super Saiyan tech, yeah? Okay, fine. Thank you. That was cool. Right, I think I may be done seven Super Attacks. Let's wait for Trunks to get back up. And again, this is why you need health items in this mission because it's so easy to take a little bit of damage and I'm only halfway through the mission, really. Up you get, Trunks. I think I've done eight. Let's call that nine. Charge up key a bit. Mm -hmm. I love that move. Oh, he did a good throw. He baited me out. That was good. He's quite aggressive. There we go. Call that 10, but I'm going to do one more just for luck. One more super attack. Hopefully I won't take too much damage because I am... Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh, wow. That could have been a real bad instance. Excuse me for sneezing. Okay. Time to kill him off. Had enough of this. Blue Hurricane. Let's go. Right, so now that I'm done in this area, before I leave, I'm going to look around for items. There's a lot of items in this area, and it always is. If you didn't get five in the last area, you might want to pick these up. I think I got maybe four, so I'm going to pick one more up, just for luck, in case. Don't worry about picking them all up. You are against a timer here, and I've spent about almost seven minutes doing the quest so far. Fortunately, we're almost getting towards the end, so it should be a okay in terms of time. 
Now this really confused me when I first came here. I came to this area and then I saw that gate open and I couldn't work out what I had to do because I couldn't see anything. Uh, what you have to do here is just stay at this gate then fly back up, keep the camera at this angle here and eventually the gate's over here. I couldn't find it twice when I started this mission. I had to quit doing it but um, eventually I did find it and I think I've, it's given a few other people problems. Right here we are at the big big battle. We've got a family, Goku, Gohan and Goten. Now the big problem with this one here is that a lot, um, Goku, Gohan and Goten will not hesitate just to spam Super Kamehameha's on you. And it can be really, really intense. It doesn't seem to be happening this time, I'm doing very, very well. But they will just spam Super Kamehameha over and over and over again. I think it's a tribute to one of the movies which they're fighting against Broly where they do the family Kamehameha. And it can be a little bit difficult here. So you want to kill them ASAP, really, just as I did through that little talk there. If you do so, Goku will get back up and turn into a Super Saiyan third form. He's strong, he's buffed out, he's got armor. You just want to kill him ASAP, really. Don't waste no time to fight Goku. And at this point, you should really have all the evaluation criteria you need to get a Z rank. You should have super user, you should have grappler, you should have ultimate user, you should have expert exhibitionist, you should have, uh, what else is there really? Oh, here's the Kamehameha. Um, you should just really have everything you need in order to, you should have a combo, feed, everything you should have needed to get enough points in order to get a Z rank, you should have earned by now in this mission. So really, you just want to kill off Goku and not waste any time here. So let me see if I can pick him up. I've got him in the tornado at the bottom. Let's see if I can just knock him down a bit. Haven't killed him just yet. Let's get a target lock at him. Fly up, Goku. Come on. Nope, not wide open, Goku. You're wide open. And there he goes. Right, now, if done so correctly, exclamation marks will flash along the screen and you will be treated to the next part of this battle. This next part is very, very difficult, I would say so myself, especially if you didn't bring a lot of health items with you. So make sure you are ready, full key, full stamina before you go into the next area. There are some items in this area if you need some more, but like I said, you really shouldn't at this point. Right, back in the Space Earth area, you're going to be fighting several more enemies. Here is Gotenks. Here's Gotenks. I've never really liked Gotenks, but eh, we have to beat him up. So I'm just going to take him out ASAP. It won't be long though before more enemies arrive. What I don't like about Gotenks is is that well, I really hate the whole of the Boo Saga personally. And the only good thing about Goten and Trunks really is, or Young Trunks, is the fact that they are Goku and Vegeta's children. That's it. Wow, that was cool. That was really cool. I found a Flash and a Kamehameha together. Now we're going to be fighting against Goku and Vegeta, obviously. Um, they are at their Super Saiyan 2 forms and they are very, very strong. If Goten is still alive, they can give you a lot of problems. They will just absolutely destroy you. Fortunately, I have this move, Blue Hurricane. If you have key blast moves, there are tons of moves which work really, really well for dealing with enemies in large numbers. I keep saying it, but I know Final Flash does really well. Super Kamehameha can do really, really well. And there's probably tons which I don't even know about. When you defeat Goku and Vegeta in this mission, they will then use Patara Fusion and they will join up as Vegito. Vegito is strong, but he can't handle hurricanes. No one can handle the fierce force of the hurricane. And Gotenx gets back up for one more time. Wow, that's actually 20 enemies. Yep, yeah, that counts as 20. So yeah, this mission can give people problems. But if you know how what you're doing and you have a method like myself, then it shouldn't be too hard. Blue Hurricane just destroys the AI in this game. It's almost ridiculous how easy it is. Especially with 100 key, uh, 100 points put into key. Uh, not key, sorry, strike supers. What is he doing? Oh, Super Ghost Kame Kamikaze attack is ridiculous. Don't let that hit you. What he does is it gives him pro basically projectiles which hit physically and it will just chase you down and there's not really much you can do about it. Why am I target locked on this? Where is Gotenks? Oh my god, I hate this stage. It's so big. That's what she said. Yeah, that's a terrible joke. Please leave a like if you like terrible jokes. 
Okay, right, this is ridiculous. Get up here, please. Is he just going to use his ultimate again? He is. This is what he did one other time before when I did this mission. He likes to stay down there, use Super Kamikaze attack and just attack from the bottom. Because he knows... That was a really cool throw, I've never seen that before. He knows Blue Hurricane really only works well when, it's, when you're above at the top of the screen. Uh, come on then. If I wasn't such a scrub and I had other super U moves, maybe I would be better at this. Okay, let's get in there again. I hate Super Kamikaze attack. Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, I should say. Wow, wow, it completely whiffed. Oh god. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I gotta use Angry Shout. Phew! Oh, Android 80 is gonna help me out. That's great, I guess. Oh, let me just kill Gotex quickly. This is ridiculous. I sh he should be dead by now. Is he invincible? He seems to be invincible. Wow. Uh, charge up. Charge up. Wow. Imagine if I fail at this point. That would really suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's end this, please. Where is he? Okay. That was cool. Right, maybe I have to do this a different way. Where is he? Let me get in there. Can I... Hopefully he doesn't have armor. He probably does have armor. No, he doesn't. Maka Senpo. Wow, I missed it. One more time. There we go. I hate you, Gotenks. <laughs> you are worthless. Thanks for almost ruining my guide. Wow. Wow. You don't see speed and destruction like that every day. Thanks, 18. I appreciate that. So, yeah, as always, guys, it's all about just knowing what evaluation criteria you're working towards. You can get these very easily in this mission because there are so many enemies. And as long as you know what you're doing and you have a good, decent strategy and a nice base, then you will you will win. It's, you know, it's, um, you know, you, you can do it. No problem at all. So, Master Vanquisher... Uh, mass exhibitionist ultimate attack finish you're gonna get these no matter really conqueror super user ultimate user combo fiend evader key repeller grappler persistent accurate treasure hunter assisted lead attacker that's only because i got assisted really got even extra points for that unbeatable and yeah there we go so guys hopefully this has been useful to you if it has been please leave a message please leave a like let me know if there's any particular parallel quest you want guides for let me know i will get to them asap and um yeah check out the dlc pack free video and let me know if you are looking forward to the new dlc i'm definitely looking forward to seeing the movie and i'm looking forward to playing the content as well so let me cut the video here thank you all for as always for watching much love take care and goodbye Hey, thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. Just before you go, I just wanted to know, with all the hype surrounding the new Dragon Ball Z movie, who are you more excited to see? Freeze's new transformation or Goku's new transformation? Click on one of the pictures on the screen right now to vote and I will announce the results next week in the video.